Hi. So we're gonna go over um, SOA question number one uh, FM from the sample exam. So for number one, it says Bruce deposits 100 to a bank account. His account is credited interest at an annual nominal rate of interest of 4% convertible semi-annually. Okay, so the first thing that I would do is I would start off with 100, right? Uh, credit interest at an annual nominal rate of 4% convertible semi-annually. So I would do one plus uh, 4% divided by two to the two T. And then the second part is um, at the same time, Peter deposits 100 into a separate account credit interest at an annual force of interest of delta. So whenever uh, an annual force of interest of delta is involved when it's credited in interest, the base E is always um, involved. So just remember this notation, uh, base E of delta times T as well. Now after 7.25 years, the value of each account is the same. Okay, so now we're able to input the amount of years given, which is 7.25, right? So now for Bruce, let's uh, completely solve uh, his situation. So we know we get 100 and then 4% divided by 2 is 0 0.02. So we get 100 times 1.02 to the two times uh, 7.25. All right, well, the first thing that we need to do is we need to take our calculators and multiply 7.25 times two together, which is 14.5. Uh, right, well, we then we get the base of 1.02 to the 14.5, which is uh, about 1.332608, multiplied by 100. And we get that this whole thing in total is equal to 133.2608, et cetera, et cetera. Now for this one, we're able to set it equal to Peter's account, which is 100 e to the delta times 7.25. Okay, well, we could first get rid of the 100 by doing this number divided by 100, right? Divide this by 100. And then we get 1.3326 equals to E to 7.25. Now we could use logarithms to bring this uh, exponent down because how else are we going to get delta? So we do delta 7.25 ln e. And then once we put ln on this side, we have to do ln on the other. Right? We know automatically by rule that ln e is always equal to one. So we just cancel that part out. Now we just divide 7.25 by both sides to get delta. So we just do, we use the calculator, we do ln 1.3326, which is 0.28713, something like that, divided by 7.25. And we end up getting delta equals 
six, which is choice 